Hello there and welcome to a short video on Swayze Exam Simulator. Now of course we're facing a brand new world of computer-based testing and of course all candidates want to get an advantage in the exam and this product allows you to practice on an exam simulator. The same look, feel and functionality that you'll see in the Prometric Exam Center. Okay, so here's my mock exam. This is available for Swayze Mock 1 and Swayze Mock 2. So here's mock exam two, I'm gonna launch mock exam two, choose exam simulation mode, and that will replicate the Prometric look and feel. And here we come, here is the Prometric look and feel. You can see I've got my questions. The little arrow points to question number one. I can scroll down the list and start at any question that I want. I'm gonna have a look at question 48. When, when I'm on question 48, you select the correct answer simply by clicking on the answer. <clears throat> so a statement of comprehensive income can be combined into a single statement under both IFRS and US GAAP. Click that as my answer and notice it changes from green to black to say that I've done that question. Let's have a look at question 49. Now let's say I was uncertain about question 49 and I wanted to return to it at a later date. Well, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a little flag icon. If I click that, then you'll see a little flag appears next to question 49. Then if I, again on the bottom bar, if I look at that block of nine little uh, white blocks, click on that and it gives me my filter. I can look at questions that are unattempted or alternatively, I can look at only the questions I've attempted. I've only done one so far, question 48. Or I can bring up all of the questions I've flagged and it brings up question 49. In addition to this, within the exam emulator, you can strike out incorrect answers and you can also highlight text in the question, just like you're going to be able to do on the real exam. Now, when you've answered all the questions, you then move to finish section. At the end of finish section, that will give you a 30 minute break and then you have the afternoon or second paper to do. Now, remember the way the exam works at the moment. In the morning paper or the first paper, you'll have ethics and all of those questions will be blocked together. And after ethics, you face investment tools, that's quants, econ and FRA, and those questions are randomized. So you might face one question on quants, the next question might be econ, the next question might be FRA, then you might have another econ question, then another quants question, etc. So randomized within those three topic areas. And that's what you face in the morning exam. In the afternoon exam, first of all, you'll be faced with corporate finance and portfolio management questions. And again, those will be randomized, mixed up together. And then the second area is investment assets, and that's your equity, fixed income, derivatives, and alts. And again, they will all be randomized, mixed up together. So you're not gonna see all the equity questions together, all the fixed income, they're gonna be mixed up within that. Once you've uh, finished all the questions within a section, you click finish section. It will remind you if you haven't answered all the questions. If you have answered all the questions, you can then click finish section and that will be the end of that paper. Once you click on that, you will not be able to go back and edit any other questions and you'll be taken to uh, a screen where you can commence this second paper. Give yourself a 30 minute break and then commence paper two. Once you've completed both the AM and the PM paper, or the paper one and paper two, you can then see your results. So here's actually how I did on the overall mock exam. Here's my part one and part two. You can see with part one, uh, you can scroll down the list of questions and you can see any questions that you got wrong. And if you got a question wrong, let's see uh, where I got a question wrong. There you are, 62 was one that I got wrong. If you click on that, then it will bring up the question so you can see what the correct answer was. So this was to do with LIFO and FIFO and I should have answered C. If I don't understand my answer, then I can go to explanation and there is an explanation of the answer. And if I still am having trouble, I can click on the video uh, explanation box and get a uh, video tutorial. Here we've got a question about the uh, uh, different accounting treatments under LIFO and FIFO for... I'll cut Professor Van Eaton off there, but you get the point. You've got a full tutored explanation of that question in there. If I want to see how I did on the second paper, part two, click on part two. And then again, I can scroll down all of the questions. You can see I got question 169 wrong. Oh, it was to do with uh, impacts on the risk-free rate. How do they affect uh, a... Uh, call and I put, I said increase, decrease, and actually the correct answer was decrease, increase. Again, there's the explanation, and click on the video explanation if you want a more thorough 
uh, discussion. Finally, what I can do here is look at my exam score relative to other candidates and actually get a breakdown on how I did on all of the topic areas and individual readings, even down to individual modules. To do this, I need to go up to the top right hand side and click on that performance tracker logo. Click on performance tracker. It's loading my statistics there. Here is the mock exam that I attempted. I got 89.44% out of 100% uh, of all questions. Now notice what I can then see under topics, it's telling me how well I did on each area. So I got 89.44% overall, 80% on ethics, 93.75% on quants, 100% on economics. I've got an economics degree, so you'd hope uh, for that. 88.46% uh, on FRA. Now let's say I want to pinpoint where I underperformed on FRA. Click the plus button and you can see there are the individual um, <clears throat> study sessions, the four study sessions in FRA. And actually I can see I've got 100% on the first study session, 88.89 on the second. Oh, and then I dipped on that third study session. So maybe I have a problem with that third study session. So if I want more detail, click on that third study session and you can see the individual readings drop down and I can see how well I performed on those. Oh, didn't do too well on inventory. Fine on long life assets, didn't do too well on my income taxes as well. So if I think the problem is income taxes, I can click again on that. Here are the two modules that were tested in the exam. And you can see uh, of deferred tax assets and liabilities, I actually got 0% uh, on those, although there was only one question. So you can really use this to pin down where your strengths and weaknesses are. Now, of course, one thing a lot of candidates worry about is how are they performing relative to other candidates? Now, by clicking compare with others, it will show you how other candidates have performed on that mock exam. So I'm going to click compare with others. I want to know scores. I'm not interested in question time. And there you go. I got 89.44% on this mock. Everyone else, the average score is 47.14%. Well, we've only just released the mocks, okay? So very few people have done them. I would expect that every one percentage, hopefully to creep up towards that 70% chart area and an exam pass. But you can see, I then get that detail for every single topic area. So I can see where I am strong and where I'm weak relative to other CFA candidates. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed finding out about the exam simulation tool available for both Sways and Mock exams. Very much good luck in those examinations.